Hi everyone, it's Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're into Toy Story 4 toys and any other collectibles, I unbox a lot of stuff on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. I'm opening up the Toy Story 4 antique shop that I got at Kohl's for $24.99. Looking at this box, we see a lot of great details from Toy Story 4 from the antique shop. We see the Art Deco style doorway along with the hexagonal tile flooring. Now I'm going to rip apart this box. I'm not going to keep it, although you can choose to keep it. They made it really, really simple to pull out these figures. It includes Buzz Lightyear, Gabby Gabby, Bo, Duke Kaboom, Woody, Forky, and Combat Carl Jr. and Volcano Combat Carl Jr. Let's get it unboxed. And we're going to just take a look at everything. I'm really only interested in the Combat Carl Juniors, of course. And but I'm going to go through everything for you in case you're interested as well. I'm also really curious to see if that Duke Kaboom has a removable helmet. Now, I did buy this at Kohl's. It does usually retail for $49.99. I only bought it because it was on sale for $24.99. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy it because honestly, it's completely a waste of money. All of these figures already came out and I already purchased them individually. So I'm kind of annoyed, but it's OK. I'm just going to say that it's all right the more the merrier when it comes to Toy Story 4 toys. So let's begin with Comeback Crawl Juniors because that's who I want to start with. That's why I bought this. Don't worry, I'm going to continue on with all of them. Okay, so Comeback Crawl Jr., we meet him in Toy Story of Terror, but we actually meet the original Comeback Crawl figure in Toy Story 1 when Sid is exploding him. Horrible scene. So we have Combat Carl Juniors, we have the Volcano version, and we have our regular version. I really wish they had like that ice version, like the Arctic one. That would have been really cute. And then maybe we could have just gave him some high fives, but they didn't do that. So he's fully articulated. He has a feel of like G.I. Joe, like a mini figure of G.I. Joe from like the 80s. Nice articulation at the shoulders and legs. He's very, very limber. You can make him do splits, turn his head, all of that good stuff. Posable at the knee, and he's very, very easy to stand up. As you can see, his hips widen, so you can stand him up quite easily. I just wish he had a little bit more um, detail on him because he does kind of mimic the same Volcano combat crawl. It's like the same figure, just repainted and added a little bit more for Volcano one. They could have totally made the Arctic one. Maybe that will be an exclusive in the future. Maybe it'll be like a Comic-Con one, who knows? seems that Mattel's really going into that like collectible range with those alien Pixar remixes. They're so super cute. Anyway, more on that in another video. So let's take a look at the volcano version of Combat Carl. Again, same posability, same look, just different outfit. He is wearing sunglasses and he looks really good. He's wearing his, um, I guess his volcano proof <laughs> like outfit maybe i'm wrong but the name i think that's his name correct me if i'm wrong in the comments i'd really appreciate it he does have the same possibility like i said same articulation still looks so super cool and i like him so glad i have him was he worth 25 bucks okay maybe he was because we can't find him anywhere else but for 49.99 i'm just so blown away by this price that they did this majority of you who are collectors or who we've even purchased this. And you can even find all of these figures now on clearance at Target right now. It's ridiculous. Okay, now let's take a look at Duke Kaboom. Duke Kaboom came originally with a two pack with Forky and Duke, and he had a removable helmet. The Duke Kaboom set with his actual motorcycle did not have a removable helmet. I know a lot of people were annoyed with that. It didn't really make much sense to me why they would do that. It really didn't um, take away from the play value with the motorcycle set. So I'm so happy to see that this is a removable helmet. That's awesome. He, he looks really good. Like the detail on his face, it's amazing. The paintwork is beautiful. He's super posable. He's actually one of my favorite figures. I love the articulation in this figure. And I just love Duke Kaboom as a whole. I mean, Keanu Reeves is the best, but this character itself is just so much fun. Okay, let's take a look at the Forky figure. This is just a regular Forky figure, nothing to him, just posable at the arms, and that's about it. You could check out my other Forky and Karen Beverly unboxing video. I'll put that in the link at the top of the screen. Moving on to Buzz Lightyear, this is a regular seven inch Buzz Lightyear figure, fully articulated at all joints, um, knees, arms, hands, wrists, and head. And he's a great figure. He's one of my favorite ones. Let's move on to 
the main man himself we have woody and woody comes with his polyvinyl hat he also has full articulation he has his signature smirk he's a great figure this figure in particular though from this box the joints are very loose on one leg which kind of annoys me as well however you can't win them all but just know that it should be a stiff nice solid joint let's take a look at gabby gabby i think she is so super cute gabby gabby I saw some people post on their Instagram that I follow this um, account called Two Toy Story Moms. They're big Toy Story collectors. And they actually got their Gabby Gabby figure totally repainted with brightened up hair and accentuated polka dots on the dress and more freckles. And she looked so cute. So maybe I will try and do that myself in a video. Let me know if you think I should. I honestly have three of them. This will be my third one. And I don't see why not i mean like i think it'd be really cool just to try it out see if i could make her look a little bit better and i love crafting too so why not she is posable she is like a stiff doll i kind of wish they kind of rooted her hair you can spin her head around creepy style she has posable arms um her legs are kind of stiff but you could stand her up nicely she has a squishy dress so it looks kind of realistic and she has a molded head. She's really sweet and really cute, even though she really wasn't one of my favorite characters in the beginning, but I like the doll overall. Let's move on to Bo. Let's move on to, let's move on to Bo. She's super posable. She has a lot of detail and she has a great articulation for posing, putting on the shelf, for play, everything. She also comes with her crook, which is really cool. What I think they should have done though was actually just include D Giggle McDimples. I mean, like what would have that been just to put like a mini in there? I think that would have been great. And that would have just really added to the antique shop. I mean, they were inseparable during this movie and during those scenes. So I would think that would have been awesome. And I'm also really surprised that Mattel didn't like really branch out on that brand that they created in that world for Bo because they have, they could have made like a skunk mobile, all of these great things that they could have done. I just wish I worked at Mattel. Let's move on because I'm getting crazy. Now that we've gone through all of the figures, let's take a closer look at the box again. We see a lot of cool details that were inside of the antique store we have a really awesome picture and a treasure chest um we have a really cool typewriter that i love a gumball machine and some other tchotchkes like a bowling pin and things like that you would normally see but there's one thing that i love to see yep there it is hiding behind all that plastic are the keys for the cabinet that ducky and bunny and buzz are trying to get from the antique shop owner and look what's attached to it. It's the Pixar ball. Gotta have that Pixar ball. And of course my son pointed this out to me. He's like the ultimate Easter egg finder. He is always on a mission. Every time you watch anything, it's unbelievable. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this whole run through of the antique shop. Are you going to get it? I think this price is very, very good. It's half off, $24.99, you can't beat it. And I don't I don't think you can use your Kohl's cash though. That's the only thing. However, if you have a birthday coming up, as for it, you know, it's a really great part of your collection, especially to get these Comeback Carl Jr. dolls. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And please also don't forget to check out these people that I'm shouting out at the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out if they have a YouTube channel. I'll link it in my description below. And thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Shout outs to Daniel Channel Games, OMG Gaming, Tommy Lee Guy, the Lego Trains Collector, Dragon Kid 247, and Rosemary Harris. Thanks for watching and make sure you support any of the channels that I have listed in my description below.